Hi, it's Tiffany with You Can Book Me. Here's a quick demo on how You Can Book Me can help save you time from scheduling meetings and demos and anything else. What is You Can Book Me? We are an online application that helps streamline scheduling. You connect your calendar to a public facing appointment page that you share with your clients. That booking page automatically syncs with your Google or Outlook calendar, offering up times where you are free to take meetings. That means no back and forth emails about when's the best time to meet. Think about all the time you'll save and how you can use that time to do the work that really matters to your business. As you set up your booking page, you'll find features like automated notifications and appointment types and group bookings and nearly unlimited customization to fit your look. So how does it work? In this live demo, we'll see how to connect You Can Book Me to the calendars where you already keep track of your commitments and meetings. Then we'll see how to create and customize booking pages that you share with clients. Then we'll learn the different ways you can set up availability and duration of your bookings. And finally, how to share your link with your clients and start receiving bookings. Let's take a look at our entrepreneur, Morgan, who has started his own consulting business, and he wants to spend more time helping clients and closing deals instead of spending time on the phone locking in meetings. So he's going to create a booking page where his clients can book time directly with him. On his integrations page, he has integrated the Google Calendar he wants You Can Book Me to check for conflicts. He has a couple of calendars in that count, both his work and his personal one. Also on the integrations page, he can choose to integrate additional services with You Can Book Me, such as Stripe for taking payments, Zapier, Gmail, and Zoom. Moving back to his dashboard, he's already created the booking page he will share with his clients. Let's take a look at it. Everything on the booking page is customizable. The title of the booking page, the subdomain of the URL, and even the company logo. Under Calendar and Teams, Morgan has selected the calendars he wants You Can Book Me to check for conflicts. Since he manages his schedule on both his work and personal calendar, he wants to make sure You Can Book Me considers both calendars before allowing a booking. This will impact his subscription price, but it is worth it because it will mean he's never booked over his kids' soccer game or an important work meeting. Now, Morgan will set his availability for client meetings. Repeating availability is the default setting on a booking page, meaning Morgan will set his standard working hours that he works consistently from week to week. You Can Book Me will check the calendars he's selected during these set working hours and pull in any free time where he doesn't already have commitments or busy events on his calendar. These free times will be offered to his clients, giving them the widest range of possible appointment times. Morgan can also take control over the times offered to clients by using custom availability. This is more of a calendar managed availability that allows him to indicate when he wants to take meetings by adding a key phrase in You Can Book Me, customer meetings, and then adding blocks of time to his calendar. Only those time slots that are found on his calendar will show for booking when his clients visit his booking page. This is a good solution if his schedule changes from week to week. The cool thing about this is again that the availability is managed directly on his calendar. He can just add or remove availability by adjusting those events on his calendar without having to log in to You Can Book Me. With the availability set, Morgan is going to think about the duration of the meetings he's offering. He can set a fixed duration for all meetings booked on his page by first adjusting the grid display. Or he can allow his clients to select how much time they need with him by using a flexible booking duration. In this case though, he offers different types of consulting services and they each require a fixed amount of time and carry a different price. So he's going to use appointment types. This will allow him to block out sufficient time in his day and be prepared ahead of the meeting. The length of each appointment type is determined by the grid display he set under duration and display. If he wants to, he can collect payment ahead of time using the Stripe integration. However, for now, he will just inform the clients of the price in the appointment type 
and they'll pay at the start of the appointment. The booking form allows Morgan to build out any questions he needs to ask of his clients before they confirm the appointment. This can be as simple as contact information or a multiple choice question on how they prefer to meet. He can use this information on the booking form later to customize the messaging that sends to the client in the confirmation and reminder emails. Questions on the booking form can be marked as required and reordered on the form in a way that makes sense to the client. In the notification section, Morgan can configure email templates that will send out to each client after booking based on the information they've provided on the booking form. For example, if we look at the confirmation email that will send to the booker immediately after, it will pull in their first name, the type of appointment they've booked, and the start time of the booking. He's also customized the email with conditional statements to display certain text based on a question in the booking form. He's added images and customized the text to represent his company. Replies to the emails that send to the client will go straight to his email inbox. There are several different email triggers that can send different customizable emails. For example, if the booking is rescheduled by him or by his client, if the booking is canceled by him or his client, and reminders that are scheduled to send before the start of the booking. The calendar events section shows how the booking will appear on Morgan's calendar and on his clients. If he's doing video calls, he can set up the location as Zoom or Google Meet in the event location field and a unique link will be generated for each meeting. Using shorthand codes and curly brackets, he can customize the title of the event, including what type of appointment was booked, so he can see what he has on his agenda at a glance. Once he has the page configured the way he'd like, including setting a booking page primary color under styles and appearance, you can click live booking page to preview what his clients will see. It's also a good idea to make a test booking and make sure the notifications are all appearing the way that you'd like. Ready to share your booking page? Copy and paste the booking page link into your email signature, embed the booking page into your website, or generate a QR code to be added to your business cards. And don't forget to share it on social. So how much does this functionality cost? Our pricing is $10 per calendar per month. We also offer discounts for 12-month and 24-month commitments. In this live demo, as you'll remember, we were checking two calendars in Morgan's account for conflicts. So he's looking at a monthly investment of $20. That really is a small investment when you think about the time he will save, and maybe it saves him from hiring an assistant who has to manage his schedule on his behalf. We estimate that each booking made through You Can Book Me represents a time saving of 10 minutes. That time save gives you more time to spend time growing your business. Ready to get started and streamline your scheduling? Start with a 14-day free trial with no commitment and see if You Can Book Me is the right solution for you.